Okay, let me talk about feature flags. So the idea of feature flags is really just that you ship multiple versions of the same software or the same feature, and then you selectively turn it on for different users or just different internal users. So the advantage of this is without a feature flag, you might go a long time before merging in a new feature because it's just not ready. But with a feature flag, you're kind of forced to or encouraged to keep revising the in-progress feature um, because any, anyone can toggle it on at any time. So it's really a way to minimize branching or reduce the length of branches, which is really, really helpful because branches, even with Git, branches are complicated and conceptually complicated and troublesome. So you would really don't want to minimize branching. So this is my slide. It's a little more complicated, but basically it's showing on the left, you have code branches. You have A and B. They're two different versions of the software. So when you ship, you got to ship A or B. Uh, in the middle, you have a feature flag. So A and B are combined in one branch. So when you ship, you ship A and B. And then you have a way to toggle between A and B, either per user or for developers or uh, behind the scenes. And then the last one, this really corresponds to the previous slide, which is you do both. You have feature flag, but then you have a branch with a second version of that feature flag. And again, when you ship, you have to choose to do A or B. So let me show you the code. Basically, this is a new file, feature flags.js, where you can define, fl define flags. Here I define two on flags. One, two flags. One is undo, one is big drop, which I'll show you what it is. And here I include the key, which is how it shows up in our debug menu. That's kind of optional. If we had real UI for feature flags, we wouldn't need that, but it works pretty well. So this is how you check a flag right now. You say, is undo allowed? Well, it is if the undo flag is set. Is big drop allowed? It is if the big drop flag is set. So it really comes down to more or less just an if statement. Now you don't want to put the if statement in an inner loop where you're executing it a thousand times per frame, but you know, one time per frame is pretty much nothing. It's pretty much free. Um, so we'll show you the UI where you can toggle feature flags, but also in the dev config, the dev config, you can um, enable flags if you're going to run with them every time. So that makes it easier. So here in the app, I place some blocks and I hit control Z and it does nothing because I've turned off undo because it's kind of buggy. So I go into this debug menu, which now has a little dialogue, so it looks more real. And I go into F, the feature toggle, and I see these are both off. So let me turn uh, undo on and close it. And now I can hit undo and it undoes. Now that's sort of, that's sort of um, quirky in that I was able to undo it even after, even though I turned the flag on after. That's sort of a quirk. Um, to how that particular feature works. It's not always going to be that easy, but let's look at the other one. So here I'm dropping these tiles. They go down. So now I go into feature flag and turn on big tile drop. We'll see what that does. And in there, now they drop really big. Now, maybe no one likes that. So we, so we end up removing that flag or maybe we leave it in there. Um, just hidden. Okay. That's it. Have a good weekend.